Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about all the basics you need to know before starting with gouache and I'm going to paint a portrait as well so let's get started. So what is gouache? Gouache is an opaque form of watercolors, more like poster colors if you have ever used those before. It's known to fall between watercolors and acrylics. Since this medium is opaque, it layers pretty well. The property which is similar to watercolors is that it's reactable. In general, it is way more pigmented than watercolors. I love every water-based medium, especially watercolors and gouache, as all you need are some paint tubes, brushes, paper, water and that's all. And the aftermath is way easier to clean up. Gouache is available in tubes and pans. So here's the list of the things that you need before starting with gouache. First is of course some paints. To paint almost anything get a warm and cool version of the primaries plus black and white. And if you are into portraits I've already made a video upon the palette I use and would recommend for beginners you may check for it in the description box below. For the paper try to use at least 200 grams. I always use 300 grams hot press paper for a smooth finish. You can opt for a cold press version if you like to work on a textured surface. For my studies, I sometimes paint in my sketchbook which is 200 grams and the paper works fine. For brushes, I would highly recommend synthetic brushes and to stay away from watercolor brushes as they absorb and retain a lot of water and that can make your mixes way too watery. I use these from Rostro, mostly flats and some rounds. For the palette, I use this piece of glass. You can use any other palette which you use for your watercolors. You can also use a glass from a picture frame. And here are some tips that I would like to share. I always work from thin to thicker layers. The other way usually doesn't work well as glazing is not very suitable with this medium. But I do sometimes use a thinner layer to shift the values slightly. You struggle with blending and smooth transitions once it's dry. So either work faster to put down and blend the whole layer at once or try another way which I mostly use by painting stroke by stroke and just leaving it like that where it suits the way I paint so well. So if you're struggling with boring over blended paintings then this medium is great. While painting you can start from darker to lighter tones or go from lighter to darker. Some people do like painting from lighter to darker but I will always prefer to work from darker to lighter as the other way of painting will look either somewhat flat or dark because the white under the darks can reactivate and may interfere with the darker layer above. Be gentle and don't paint over and over in the same area as you will end up lifting up some paint which will be quite frustrating. So be more gentle while painting a new layer. To avoid muddy colors, always allow the layers beneath dry completely to keep the layers above fresh looking. It's good to have some patience here. If you're used to using other opaque mediums like acrylics and oils, then you do have an advantage over learning it a bit quicker as you are already used to using thicker paint and white to lighten the paint down. For the people who are coming from watercolors, inks or some other transparent medium, it's important to keep in mind to use white and not water to lighten your color down. Though it is similar to watercolors, it's not watercolor. It's a different medium. Since the particles are bigger, they don't disperse as evenly as watercolor does. If you're used to using thicker paint techniques and impasto, then you have to be very cautious. Especially if you're using the paint alone without any medium. Because using paint straight from the tube will simply just crack when you bend it. And it will also become really brittle so it will just come off like that. I won't ever put gouache this thick as I appreciate one even layer. You can squeeze out the paints in a palette like I've done with my watercolors and use some water to reactivate so that you can paint with them again which is really pocket friendly or squeeze some fresh paint out every time. This is the way I do it. I like the consistency of it when it's fresh although you still have to put some water on them from time to time as they can dry in just a couple of minutes. I've already mentioned this a lot of times before but keep this in mind once dried gouache loses some of its lightness and darkness. 
makes color keeping this in mind gouache is a delicate medium so we have to be careful while handling the paintings once they are done don't bend it or rub it and try to keep it away from water to store the paints you can keep them in a closed container and always keep the tubes closed tightly or else you'll end up with some dry paint still they won't go to waste as you can always cut open the tubes and rewear and use it so lastly for cleaning up all you need is some plain old water and a rag so i'm fairly new with this medium this is how things worked for me and i will always suggest you to start somewhere and discover your techniques learn new ways and find what works best for you i hope you'll find the motivation to start with a new medium and find this video helpful enough so take care and see you in my next one